Uh, hello, uh, today I'll be doing a basic intro tutorial on the program PuTTY. Uh, more explicitly, I'll be showing you how to access an SSH. An SSH is what is known as a secure shell. It allows you to access an uh, internet server um, through like a secure tunnel, uh, protecting any information you send and get from that server. So if you type in passwords, or you get files, or you use programs, that all be secure and safe and it only need to, like they need to crack that server in order to get into it which is pretty difficult um, the first thing you want to do then is to just go online and download the putty software it's free and I'm pretty sure it's for most uh, systems like Windows and Mac just go to the download site uh, get the correct uh, system software and then install it simple as that so once you have it up and running just open her up uh, you'll get this uh, little configuration window and here what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to first enter in the host name and the host name is basically the name of the server you're accessing or it can be the IP address um, you can access your own server like your own home server if you just type in your own IP address you can access just different business servers if they allow you to and you have like a password um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be accessing um, our computer science server here at the University of uh, Wisconsin-Madison. And if you are a computer science student, you will most likely have a computer science login, and you can therefore access this server, and the server name is best-mumble.cs.wisc.edu. Once you have that typed in, uh, check your connection type, make sure it's uh, checked for SSH, and make sure your port is 22 because that's the port that the SSH terminals will be accessing. So just open that up. Now if you're, if that's the first time accessing that uh, host server, it'll usually come up with a prompt and ask you if you want to access the server and if you want to save the host's uh, private key or public key. You want to do that for sure um, if you're going to access that host site multiple times. So just hit yes and it'll save that key and you won't have to reconfigure any time you connect to that host. So what you do first is type in just your CS login and then put in your password. If you type in the wrong password, it'll just say access denied. We type that in. But if you type in the wrong uh, login name, you'll have to restart the program altogether. You won't be able to just re-login with a new name but that's not that difficult we'll just you just do what we did again access it turn in the wrong put in the right login name and your password and then if everything works you'll get this little uh, intro screen and a little command prompt now the first thing you're going to want to do is usually you're going to want to just check uh, what files directories and programs are on your server you can do that just by typing ls which stands for list now that is a linux command Putty runs off all basic Linux commands. If you don't know any Linux commands, you can just look them up online. I'll post a site underneath this video of where you can go, and I'll show you a few on this video. This first one I'll show you right here is just list, and that'll give you a list of files and directories and things that are just in your uh, main file or directory, which is also known as um, dot backslash. So if I just do ls dot backslash, that's also the name of my main directory, and it'll show me all those files again. Now right now I don't really have any many files or directories, public and private, um, don't really have much in it, and files I created just for this video and I'll kind of show you how to do that. But first, you might um, want to just access some other random uh, Linux commands. One can be cal, which stands for calendar, shows you a little calendar, it's kind of interesting. You can do date, it just shows you the date, things like that. DC. Uh, will let you access a desk calculator. Now you can do basic calculations. Uh, they can be kind of confusing. You just have to, if you want to do like four times five, you have to do four, five, uh, multiplication symbol, symbol, enter, enter, p, enter again, and that prints out the statement. Uh, you want to do plus, just do four, five, plus, and do p again, prints out that statement. Uh, I guess uh, a little bit harder values to calculate can be a little more confusing. Just look that up online. Disk calculator also has more options, but they're not. If you're your first time user, you don't really need to get into that right now. Otherwise, like I said before, just kind of look it up online.
Take us out of that, just hit Q for quit, and you can leave. You can also type in help, which gives you a list of uh, directory commands, and a list of kind of programming commands. If you look at the list, uh, it has a lot of terms, but a lot of times they're kind of just confusing to read, especially if you don't know much about computers at all. You won't really know what to do with any of these. Uh, but right now, if you want to just create maybe a basic te text file and save that, I'll show you how to do that. You just need to access some short, sort of visual modulator. To do that, you can use Pico or uh, VI. So you either type Pico and then your file name, or VI, which I like to use, and then the file that you want to create, maybe something like new file, and put a little abbreviation at the end to let you know what kind of file it is. Just new file.txt is fine. Something simple as that. Hit enter, you'll get into this modulation window. Now if you want to begin typing, hit I, and they'll say insert on the bottom, and then you can start typing. So you can just say something like, this is my first new file. Simple as that. Now if you just want to save something like that, it's not too difficult. You just have to hit escape, um, hold shift, and put Z twice. And that'll save that file now. Now if I press LS again, view my files. Look, I now have this new text file that's right there. If I want to look at it, just new VI or Pico, depending on what you use to um, create it. Type in the file name exactly, and you're good to go. You've accessed that file. And just hit escape, shift ZZ, and get out of there. Uh, now say you want to create a new directory, uh, or just directory, just basically a folder. You can create that by just saying make directory, which is M-K-D-I-R, and then the name of the directory. You can do new files, something simple like that. Press LS again. Look, I now have this new directory called New Files, and directories are always printed in blue with the back uh, with the backslash, and that just basically means a directory. If I want to save a file into there, I do my visual uh, modulator again. I type the path name of where I'm going to save it, so it'll be New Files backslash, and then the file name. I can just have file.txt, something simple as that. My editor window will open up again. Press I to insert type whatever I want something like that escape shift ZZ that'll save it I hit LS show me my files it'll only show those if I want to see that one I do know that it was printed in the new files so I'll do LS new files to access that folder backslash that'll show me what files are in there if I want to view that file, I can't just do vi file.txt. That'll just create a new file in the main directory. See, it's completely blank. If I just press escape, shift zz, it won't create it. It's going to be the list again. It's not there. So if I do want to access that file in that folder, I have to specify the entire path. New files. Backslash file text. And there you go. There's your file and it's stored in there. Simple as that. Do the escape shift zz to exit. Alright, now if you want to delete a file, you just do rm and then the name of the file. It'll prompt you if you want to delete it. Just type yes if you want to and anything else if you don't want to. Let me go back. As I said before, it's deleted, and now you just have these directories. If I want to delete, delete a directory, I'll do uh, remove dir, and then the name of the directory. The problem with this, though, is there's already a file in there, so it will not let me remove that. If I did want to remove that directory, I'd first have to go in there, and then delete that file, and then I would be able to delete that directory. Uh, that was just a basic uh, teaching of how to open up PuTTY and use it, look at different files, and then create a few files. And in my next video, I'll show you how to run a basic program. And just to get out, you just do log out. It'll log you right out of the server.